over here we are again trash tassel so after the um, power fuse is replaced we go into the uh, computer system here we're gonna enter service mode boot up hopefully she goes in beautiful we go to high voltage system then we go to high voltage battery and it shows HV battery warning I guess we're gonna self-destruct here in a minute I don't know what that's all about but we'll find out HV system saying there's a fault in the battery Contactors are open. Hmm. Well, we're gonna do some digging onto that one and see what's going on there. But it's the first time we've seen this fault. We have to get a toolbox onto this thing and then uh, see what she's complaining about. Well, the PCS system is idle and BMS error. So something else going on. I think we have to go into. Low voltage power distribution. Clear coat close. Oh, oh, and I don't have the key enabled in this thing yet. We're just in the process of enabling a key. That's unusual. High voltage control is seeing an issue. Now there is no battery damage to this vehicle. It just basically wrecked the right front fender. So. Sometimes this happens when the uh, post-crash load dump is enabled. It uh, shuts down the BMS, things like that. But uh, interesting. Oh, I know what's going on. The 12-volt uh, um, battery is toast. So when that battery is dead, it causes all kinds of weird anomalies in these cars. It's, it's like a normal gas vehicle. When you have a low battery, you'll get all kinds of low voltage codes and everything else. But when you have a bad or weak battery in these Teslas, the car knows it and it absolutely hates those batteries. It wants that thing replaced. It keeps slagging, replace battery, replace battery. Charging it doesn't seem to do it. And it really doesn't. If the battery is not healthy, um, the computer senses this and shuts down the car again because of that 12 volt battery i do have another 12 volt i'm going to throw it in there and we'll see how it operates well, here we go again as i was saying these cars do not like when there is a bad 12 volt battery the low voltage battery in the system causes all kinds of weird anomalies with the computer system so it was saying that it had a battery fault and uh the car wouldn't power back on wouldn't turn the contactors on things like that it was all because the 12 volt battery in it was uh, not functioning properly. So as you can see here, the HVIL is all working normally. All the contactors are closed. Current is operating through the system. High voltage system, all the contactors are working. Now the battery is staying supported. State of charge 36%. So yes, after replacing the pyro fuse, we found that the you know the 12 volt battery was no good and the car rejects that and it just causes issue we've been stung by this before looking at everything thinking there's a problem in the system but and i kept saying now it's got to be the battery so put in another good battery and lo and behold the car everything works perfectly normal because there's no battery damage to this car it was in a crash sure but it doesn't affect the battery in these things it doesn't take a hit it doesn't have any damage to the case so in this case what happens is your low voltage battery and you'll get power distribution now she's saying low voltage battery fault and the reason why it's saying that is because i still have a battery charger connected to it so the voltage is sitting higher than it normally would with the car feeding it so if I shut the battery charger off, that fault will go away instantly. Um, and because you see that it's saying a negative, negative current effect right here. Um, normally when the system itself is charging the battery, that's always at a positive current, you know, one, two, three amps, depending on what the vehicle is using. But at this point, because the battery charger's on, the car's seeing a fault thing, and you know, what's up with this low voltage battery? It's putting out more power than it should. So there you go, after after crash and replacing the pyro fuse, these are some of the glitches and things that 
I find in these cars is very common, um, easy fixes. And we always assume that the post crash load shed could be activated and be a problem. I've only ever had two cars that have actually had that activated. You simply clear that and it stops the battery from being drained um, because it was after a crash. But again, there's nothing physically wrong with the battery. It's just a safety precaution to bring the battery voltage down. I don't know if other manufacturers do that. I doubt it, but Tesla has some really good software in their systems and protecting their uh, their vehicles and the way things operate.